So episode starts out with Martel doing this fake low budget photo shoot. He brings in um, Destiny with the whole baby Earl needing to be part of this photo shoot. Like the lady bought only one box of roses. Why was he in blue boxes? Like if it was for Valentine's Day, why wasn't he naked with a whole bunch of roses covering his member? Like the whole thing made no sense. I'm just like, this was, and note that this was the only time we saw Martel in the whole episode. Goes to show you he really does need Mel. If I wear him, I would treat Mel way better than he does. Because, bro, last episode, he was in one scene only with Lewis. And you know because nobody's talking to him. Man. Then we get to meet Stormy. Stormy apparently is the lady with the big old mansion where Mel did her photo shoot last season. Stormy has a successful hair care line and business. And Mel reaches out to her. Obviously, they're introducing Storm to the, to the network or to the channel. So Mel meets up with her for business ideas and invites her for her pajama party. And Stummy is very upfront. Stummy's like, girl, you didn't remember giving the fellatio? Like, girl. Then Mel is like, I don't, I don't need to explain anything to Marta, which I agree, she really doesn't. But to say you don't remember having a member in your mouth, like, mm, Mel, do better. Come up with better lies. But I like that Stormy is straight to the point and Mel did not try to skate with you know this honesty she kind of answered her up front like i'm not speaking to him about that if he and his baby mama want to do that publicly they could have it but i'm not doing that and i really liked it then we see martel tisha talking about this house that they've not even poured freaking foundation in boy you know they ain't gonna build that house especially now in the house market is psychotic like equipment tools everything is super expensive they're not building they're gonna be in their their um income house until whenever the market cools down but he was so uninterested in that meaning that nothing is happening nothing is moving he hasn't paid for the labor so he's not expecting the house then miss wanda walks in asking him questions again he avoids the questions try to outsmart her but miss wanda even with her ebonics and horrible english calls him out she's like don't try to play me and he continues to play her and Tisha. Like when she asked about, do you have an apartment? He definitely did not answer. And that was crazy to me. I was like, what the what? This got me. Then Kimi and Maurice have a short trip to Jalen's house, trying to ask him to watch her dog. But Jalen brings up all the noise about Maurice cheating. Kimi's tune changed from last week because now she's like, we both don't believe in um, infidelity. Girl, that is not the answer. Did Maurice cheat or did he not cheat? That is the question. But Jalen is giggling. I don't know if he's nervous, but he had some nervous inflections to it. And I'm like, boy, be a man. Ask, are you messing around on my mom or nah? But they kind of like pussyfoot around the topic. Don't really give straight up answers. I feel like Kimmy knows Maurice cheated. They've talked about it. They've dealt with it. But she doesn't want to talk about it on the show. That's the vibe I'm getting from Kimmy. Which is fine. Then the ladies meet for the pajama party. They are questioning Kimmy again about the whole Maurice rumor and everything. And she answers it as honest as she can. Um, and they're telling her maybe Marceau is trying to come for you guys' relationship. Just pay attention to it. Which, I don't know if he's coming for their relationship. But Marceau has been talking a lot about their relationship lately. It seemed like a joke. But at this point, I know you guys have been seeing those memes. People might be trying to, you know, destroy you in the, in the envelope of a joke. So a joke might be him trying to hide his true feelings of their marriage. Maybe he doesn't like Kimmy. Maybe he doesn't like that his marriage looks like crap and their marriage looks perfect. And he's trying to put some dust on it. Perhaps. I don't know. But they're advising Kimmy, just pay attention. Don't ignore the warning signs. Because why is he putting you all on front street when it wasn't necessary? Like for real. For real. Then Tiffany pulls Kimmy to the side to kind of clear the dust because of the reunion and everything that happened. Kimmy is like, I called you out because you called me out. Basically, it was tit for tat. No beef. So Tiffany obviously accepts that she was wrong. They apologize. They move on. Next thing, Stormy steps in and is like, what's going on? Ghetto and all. Hey, that's who she is. But Tiffany gets super smart with her and they all missed it because she was like, that's absurd that you're asking me about this job that I had years ago and I don't even work anymore. It's like asking someone about what happens to them at 12. They missed the shade until they looked at Mel's face. Mel cut the shade. Then Kimmy cut the shade. Then Stormy was the last one to catch the shade. And Stormy is like, girl, you being smart. 
Kimmy's like, oh, you're trying to, you know, be rude, basically. And Stormy is like, uh-uh, don't try me, you B-I-T-C-H. And I was like, this is crazy. But I mean, Tiffany told them, right? Like, leave me alone. I've already answered the question. Goodbye. And the episode ends. Let me know what you all think. Bye.